hundreds of news outlets have just published this exact title. A new generation of electric car, 700 miles of range, that's well over a thousand kilometers, 700 miles of range, refuels in seven minutes. Seven minutes sounds pretty amazing. Is it actually an electric car? Well, if you were to read Yahoo Finance, Globe Newswire, blah, 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 CNBC, you would think that this new electric vehicle has 700 miles of range, refuels in seven minutes, and it must be amazing. You should therefore invest in the company because it's the next Tesla. In fact, it's better than the next Tesla. It's going to blow Tesla out of the water. But they didn't mention in that title anything to do with needing to find a hydrogen refueling station in order for the vehicle to even move a single inch. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. I'll be at Fully Charged Life, which is called Electrify Everything in Australia in Sydney. Would love to see you. 20% off tickets. I'll put my promotion code in the description below. Revo Zero Energy, an American company, so Revo Zero Energy, American company actually founded in Virginia, are selling you, you can buy one right now apparently, a hydrogen minivan with four sliding doors, four electric sliding doors, a very cool looking LED light bar at the front, makes it look a lot like a Rivian R1T or R1S, promised 700 miles of range. Now you can buy one today, but you can't actually, you can't pay for it in full, you can just pay a deposit. And there's no promise on when you'll actually get the vehicle or if ever, or in fact, if you'll even be able to fuel it. I should point out there is one state in America which has a fair few places to refill the car, hydrogen fueling stations. That's California. Of course, if you live away from San Francisco or Los Angeles, good luck. But um, anyway, Revo Zero says this new electric uh, vehicle, which is actually a hydrogen electric vehicle will have a unique powertrain that combines the benefits of fuel cells with EVs, meaning it's better than an EV. That's what they say. Now, the latest vehicle brand, which is getting a, a fair bit of media attention in America, people apparently who have invested quite heavily in this. I hope it wasn't you. I hope, I hope you aren't someone who has gone, you know what, I've just retired. I've got a million dollars in my savings for my retirement. I've got to invest in this company because it's the next Tesla. I'm going to make heaps of money. I hope you didn't do that because I'm not confident this vehicle will ever actually exist. You can see these images, it looks good, but these are renders. This is not an actual vehicle. Anyway, looking like a crossover type minivan slash SUV. Actually, it reminds me a little bit of the Kia, the Kia Carnival, the current Kia Carnival. I think it looks quite good. The energy features a rounded front fascia with a pronounced grille and a big light bar. It also has some faux intakes and a skid plate. So those intakes at the front of the car do absolutely nothing. Anyway, the rear doors open like a minivan. I think that's kind of a cool feature, plenty of space to get in and out of the car. The front doors slide out and forward. Now, why you would want front doors that slide out and forward, I don't know, but that would add a huge amount of cost to production. Very complicated thing to actually get work when it comes to mass producing a car. If you want to do this on like a supercar or something like that, yeah, not so, not such an issue. When you make things bespoke, like a, you make a bespoke Bentley vehicle or something, a Rolls Royce, you can do this sort of thing. But if you want to mass produce something, that's a bit of an alarm bell, a bit of a red flag that at least that feature won't make it to production if the car ever does make it to production. Aside from those doors, the Energy has a panoramic glass roof and pronounced very, very clear sort of bulky wheel arches, which I think it makes it look nice. At the rear, it also has a rear light bar and a skid plate that looks a bit like the one at the front. As for the interior, it looks um, unusual. I'm not sure if I like it or not. It actually reminds me of an old Tesla Model S, one of the older models when it had the, the screen built into the dash. And it does look simple. Um, yeah, it just, I don't know, it just aesthetically doesn't appeal to me personally, but what do you think? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's a winner? Let me know in the comments. So how will this thing actually move? Well, Revo Zero hasn't given a lot of details, but they say it has. it is a plug-in fuel cell, meaning it combines a hydrogen fuel cell with an electric battery pack. What battery pack will it come with? Very likely a lithium ternary battery pack, so something like 2170 cells from Panasonic or Samsung, 
someone like that is the likely cell you'll see, the likely type of battery you'll see in this vehicle, if it reaches production. The company says this combination merges the benefits of both technologies and negates their drawbacks. So does that mean you can, you know, because you're gonna get the benefit of both technologies, then you can just drive it as an EV and you don't have to necessarily find hydrogen somewhere or make your own hydrogen, as some people apparently say they're gonna do. I've received emails from people saying, oh, shut up, electric Viking. Hydrogen cars are amazing. I'm just gonna make my own hydrogen. Okay, mate, good luck with that. Anyway, can you drive it as an EV? only no you cannot the battery works in conjunction with the hydrogen fuel cell revo zero have claimed the electric battery serves as the primary power source and is utilized until the hydrogen battery takes over whatever that means that's um interesting but what it means is the vehicle will likely travel on battery power for a while before the hydrogen fuel cell activates to work as an onboard on-demand charger so in theory, you'd think you wouldn't necessarily need hydrogen to run the car, but the company hasn't said that's the case. It sounds a lot like a range extender vehicle that uses hydrogen instead of gasoline. So a plug-in hybrid that runs on hydrogen, but doesn't have an engine because it's work, working on a fuel cell. Does it sound complicated to you or is that just me? I think it's pretty complicated, but hey, you never know, it could be great could be the next revolution could be the next tesla right 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 uh no anyway the company is promising range of 700 or more miles which is 1127 kilometers that's amazing they said you can recharge the battery at home while refueling the hydrogen tank will only take seven minutes but they didn't say where you can refuel your hydrogen tank where it will take seven minutes and um yeah, as you'd probably be aware, there's not many places to do it. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize this when they buy a hydrogen-powered vehicle. The Toyota Mirai is currently the only hydrogen-powered vehicle you can buy in America. Resale value is the worst of any vehicle ever sold in American history. Uh, for example, it costs around $65,000 US dollars to buy it new. You do get $15,000 worth of hydrogen fuel for free from Toyota. They're doing that as sort of a bait to get you to buy the car. But... I'm seeing them on sale for as low as 7,000 US dollars because people aren't buying them. They don't want to buy them secondhand. They don't get that free fuel. And people in the secondhand market usually do a bit more research and realize that there's not many places to actually fill up, if any, in their state. Most states in America don't have any charging points or refueling points for hydrogen at all. You can put it down a deposit right now of $500 and the company definitely won't take your money. So don't worry about that. Well, apparently they won't. So when will these vehicles be produced? Well, here's the part that's very vague. Revo Zero says the final date is still to be determined. They're working diligently on testing and complying with all safety regulations. You know, I've got to say, it does remind me of Nikola. You know, Trevor Milton, who started Nikola, he trashed Tesla, said that they had a way better vehicle. It was a car, it was hydrogen, it was electric, it was this, it was that, it was amazing. It was, it was going to kill Tesla. It had, they had their own battery technology, hydrogen technology. They even, they even towed the vehicle up a hill and showed you that it could roll downhill. Amazing. They pretended, of course, that when it was rolling downhill, it was driving downhill, but it never could actually drive itself. Is this company the next Nikola? don't think so. They're not making these kinds of wild claims that Nikola was, but I certainly wouldn't be placing a reservation until I see a physical product, if I were you, and investing, steer clear. This technology is unlikely, in my opinion, to ever see mass production, but you never know. I could be wrong. If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.